Hey what is it guys my name is Eric and welcome to an After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to highlight a specific color in your footage and turn every other color black and white. Uh, you're probably seeing this kind of effect used in photos or maybe in footage of uh, along the double decker buses because they're bright red so if you highlight the red and turn everything else black and white it really, really pops out from the picture and that's kind of what we're going for. Um, here's an example or like a picture I took last year in somewhere in London and it's not obviously a double decker bus but the shop that I took a picture of uh, was fully red so I decided to highlight only the reds and also the yellow leaves in the streets and turn everything else black and white so it, it, it kind of gives a n nice effect to it I'm not sure how to describe it but in my opinion it looks quite quite nice especially if you're if it's done right and on the right picture uh, I took that picture quickly I snapped it and then kept on walking I also use this in some of my video gaming video game videos or edits uh, so you've probably seen this kind of effect in one of those uh, but yeah um, let's get into this, the tutorial all you're going to need for this is After Effects, no plugins, nothing like that, only your footage and or uh, your photo and After Effects, uh, everything that, everything is inside the After Effects, it's already preset there. Uh, so here I have a uh, random footage of my mouse changing colors and I also decided to do this really cool effect um, where I just close the blinds <laughs> and it gets dark and then it gets light again. I'm not sure why, but I th in in the moment I thought thought that would be cool. Uh, anyways, as you can see, there's a bright red mark in the background. Well, it's not that bright right now, but we are going to make sure that that specific red mark is going to stand out from this whole footage because reasons. Uh, so basically, all you need to do is open up After Effects, open up your project, throw in your footage or picture, and open up leaf color effect now if you're wondering about this I've mentioned this so many times in my past videos tutorials it's a free video go pilot uh, plugin it's really useful you just press ctrl shift and it opens up the search bars you don't have to go in here and type in your stuff you can just press ctrl shift uh, ctrl space sorry uh, type in your thing and it gives you effects and plugins and everything else uh, so it's a lot quicker but you don't need this, you can literally just go through here and you don't need any extra plugins if you don't want to get the video call palette plugin you don't need that for the tutorial anyways, leave color, throw it on your footage and from here just choose your color that you want to leave I'm just gonna give it that red, you can use this pipa tool or whatever it's called to select the specific color if you want and from here all you need to do is just change these values as you wish uh, usually you should probably want to put the amount of t-color 100% if you want complete black and white on everything else except for the specific color and then change up the tolerance as you can see it kind of grows the red out from the black and white or something if you can even say that <laughs> uh, but as you can see it doesn't highlight everything and um, that is due to the match color settings so you can use either RGB if that works for you that's fine but sometimes uh, especially in my case it doesn't work so using hue is a better option and that will select a lot more colors so you want to adjust the tolerance accordingly let's turn it down a bit it's going to have some yellowish here um, so I'm going to turn it up a bit more and I'm not too worried about this yellow here I, I don't want this to be like super perfect or like this is just an example but if you want it super perfect you can uh, like create a mask I believe uh, around this area or around the area you want to have colored in and like w work with that but in my case this is going to be just like a quick example so I don't really care about that uh, if you want the color to pop more you can add a saturation uh, push it up maybe not to you know max because th that's not really beautiful that's not nice to look at but maybe like 20-25 Something like that, as you can see, really pops out more than being a tall zero or even less, you know. I'm going to set that to 25, uh, maybe adjust the brightness, going to turn it down a bit more. And uh, then add in some contrast. Uh, turn down, uh, turn up, sorry, contrast. 
Uh, this is all like person preference, you don't have to do this part. Uh, I'm just going to turn that to 25 as well, why not? Brightness to minus 25, and that's a bit dark. Minus 10, something like that, yeah. Sure, and then you can slap on your effects, slap on whatever else you need, and you're set. And yeah, that's pretty much it. A really quick and easy tutorial, but it's quite useful in my case, or in my opinion, I've used this quite a bit uh, as of late. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please click the like button down below as it helps me out a lot. If you have any questions or suggestions for either future videos or whatever, then leave those in the comment section down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.